please stand. Y'all may be seated. As a community of friends, we are gathered here in God's presence to witness the marriage of Jasmine and Remington and to ask God to bless them. We are called to rejoice in their happiness, to help them when they have trouble, and to remember them in our prayers. Marriage is like our creation as men and women. It owes its existence to God. It's his will and purpose that a husband and wife should love each other throughout their life together and the children born to them should enjoy the security of family and home. Remington, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? To live together in the holy estate of matrimony? I haven't finished. <laughs> but I appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others remain loyal to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Good. <laughs> and Jasmine, will you have this man to be your wedded husband to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? and forsaking all others, remain loyal to him as long as you both shall live. I will. Good. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? I do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you may be seated. <laughs> and you can come a little closer. Uh, you picked out a passage that I'm going to share with you and, and your guest. It's from the book of Ruth, uh, chapter 1, beginning in verse 16. So hear the word of God. But Ruth said, Do not press me to leave you or to turn back from following you. Where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, your God, my God. Where you, di uh, where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord do thus and so to me, and more as well, if even death parts me from you. Amen. <laughs> it's all done. All the planning is done. The decorating. You finished that yesterday. You know, the hair is done. Uh, you, got, you, you got a little perspiration there on the forehead. Uh, and, and I think I am relatively safe in saying that right now you look as good as you may have ever looked in your life. Right? Probably, probably. And, and I'll tell you something else. As anybody here who's married will tell you, Today is the hardest day of your marriage. After today, marriage is really easy. Right? <laughs> now, you hear what they're doing, right? <laughs> what, what is it that they're doing? It sounds like they're plotting. Yeah, well, yeah, they're <laughs> laughing and some groaning. There. And, and you know why they did that? Because today is the easiest day of your marriage. After today, that's when you start facing some, some genuine challenges. Because it's difficult for two people from different backgrounds and different interests to, to sort of come together. Uh, you, you face issues. Every married couple faces issues. And sometimes we're able to handle the big ones much easier than we're able to handle the small ones. I mean, we can deal with things like pandemics easily. 
But sometimes it's a little stuff that trips us up. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples. Now, Remington, uh, we've talked, but I'm not, what is it that you do? I mean, work-wise? Yeah, work-wise. Uh, subcontractor. You're, you're a subcontractor. And what is your general field? Uh, construction. Okay, construction. You paused there for a while, and I was a little <laughs> concerned. Uh, so you're in construction, you know, subcontractor. Uh, do you ever have a hard day? Yeah. Yeah, you have hard day. Work really hard. Okay. Sometimes. Yeah, you get home, get home, and you're really, really tired. That does that, and yeah. you know, and when you when you when you get home and you're really, really tired, long day, hard day. What is it that you'd like to do? Sit down and relax. Sit down and relax. Now I'm going to tell you the right answer is spend time with Jasmine, <laughs> uh, but that's okay. You're gonna you're gonna sit down and you're gonna relax in a chair. Okay, or a sofa, something. Yeah. Okay, so I want you to imagine you're in in your favorite chair, and you're relaxing, and your eyes are just about to close. It's so wonderful, and then Jasmine enters the room and says, "Remington Paul." <laughs> now. As soon as she says that, you know certain things, don't you? What do you know? I did something. You did something. And, but it wasn't something good, right? No. It was something bad. Okay, so you know that. So, you, you, you know, you're not relaxing anymore. And then she says to you words that put the fear of God into every married man. She says, Remington Paul, we need to... Talk. talk. That's the word. And, and when she says we need to talk, you also know certain things, right? Yes. You know you won't be doing much talking, right? Yeah. You won't. <laughs> You'll be doing a lot of what? Staying quiet. Staying quiet, right? With the exception of saying, I'm sorry, I won't do that again. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. That's one of the little things I'm talking about. And uh, Jasmine, um, how long have you known Remington? About four and a half years. About four and a half years. So it's been quite a while. Now, do you remember the first time you, you met him? I do. You do remember. Uh, is that something you can share? When first time you met him? Yeah, he was just really quiet, quiet and awkward. He was quiet and awkward. He's changed a lot. He wouldn't you know, even yeah. talk to me. For he a wouldn't while. talk to you. No, oh I man! Just get a smile from him oh and gosh, nod. well you're intimidated. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, so you, you, you met him and you started to talk, about, uh, talk to him. And, and this really leads to kind of what I was getting at. Do you remember, it took a while though for you to fall in love with Or was it love at first sight? It took a little while. It took a little while. Okay. I want you to, to think about that time when you, when you started to think in terms of Remington being the one. Uh, do you remember back then, uh, oh gosh, I, I, how do I want to put it? Some of those, those cute things that Remington did? You know those cute things that you knew if you had him for four years you could change? <laughs> Remember those things? So yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah. So what have you found out after four years? He's not very good at changing. He's not very good at changing. <laughs> He's not very good at listening either. <laughs> and, lis and listening either. These are two of the little things I was talking about that can really trip us up. And that's why I'm so glad you picked the passage you did from Scripture, the, the passage from Ruth. Because that's something I want you to remember when big things or these little things come up. I want you to remember that as you deal with these issues, you are not alone. There are four, there's four things that you have. And I want you to remember, one, you've got one another. And you can draw strength from the relationship you build. And second, you got family, you know, and you got family that really care about you and will help you in any way they can. They're able when the need arises. And even more than that, look around. You got a community. You got a community of, of friends here that want the very best for you. That may be one of the big advantages of coming from this part of the country. You got all kinds of people, but you've also got, and this is four, you got a God who couldn't love you more than he does right now. And all of those are on your side. 
and they want you to succeed. And I want you to remember the, your source of strength when these little things come up. Because not only will you be able to pass through the big stuff, these little issues won't even be speed bumps. And you'll be able to build the kind of relationship that other people see as an example. Mom, Amen. Mommy. Let's pray together. Gracious God, you're always faithful in your love for us. We ask that you look mercifully upon Jasmine and Remington who have come seeking your blessing. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon them so that with steadfast love they may honor the promises they make this day through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now I want you to join hands and right now I want you to look into one another's eyes as deeply as you can. Because I want you to remember this moment in time. Because after you say these vows to one another, everything changes. Everything changes. No longer will you be looking at the future in terms of me and mine, you and yours. It will always be us and ours. So Remington, looking as deeply as you can into Jasmine's eyes, repeat these words after me. I take you to be, I take you to be my, partner in life my partner in life and my one true love. My one true love. I, will cherish our friendship, I will cherish our friendship and I will love you today. I will love you tomorrow and I will love you forever. I will trust you and I will honor you. I will laugh with you and I will cry with you. I will love you faithfully through the best and the worst. I will love you through the difficult and the easy. What may come, what may come I, will always be there. I will always be there as I have given you, as I have given you my hand to hold. My hand to hold. So, I give you so I give you my life to keep. My life to keep. And Jasmine, looking as deeply as you can into Remington's eyes, repeat after me. I take you to be, I take you to be my partner in life. My partner in life. My one true love. My one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And I will love you today. And I will love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. I will trust you. I will trust you. And I will honor you. And I will honor you. I will laugh with you. I will laugh with you. And I will cry with you. And I will cry with you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. I will love you. I will love you. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. What may come. What may come. I will always be there. As I have given you, as I have given you my, hand to hold, my hand to hold, so do I give you, so do I give you my, life to keep. my life to keep. Thank you. Bless, Lord, this ring that he who gives it and she who wears it may abide in your peace. Placing the ring on the fourth finger of Jasmine's left hand, repeat after me. Jasmine, I love you. Jasmine, I love you. And I give you this ring, you this ring. As, a as a sign of my love and faithfulness. Bless, Lord, this ring that she who gives it and he who wears it may abide in your peace. Place the ring on the fourth finger of Remington's left hand and repeat after me. Remington, I love you. Remington, I love you. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. Good. Remington and Jasmine, you have now sealed your relationship by the giving and receiving of rings. 
And this is a pledge between two people who agree they will commit, that they will commit themselves to one another throughout their lives. Today, this, this relationship, this new relationship you're establishing, will now be symbolized through the pouring of these two containers of sand. One represents you, Remington, and one represents you, Jasmine. And all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. As these two containers of sand are poured into a third container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated, our prayer for you today is that your lives together would be so blended like the, like the seven seas that your love may swirl around each other like the changing tides. see it's not easy. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Let's have a word of prayer together. Faithful Lord, source of all love, pour down your grace upon Jasmine and Remington that they may fulfill the vows they have made today and reflect your steadfast love in their lifelong faithfulness to each other. Help us to support them in their life together. Give them courage and patience affection and understanding and love toward you, toward each other and toward the world, that they may continue to grow in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Together as God's people, let's pray together the, Lord, the prayer our Lord taught us praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Before God and in the presence of this congregation, Remington and Jasmine have made their solemn vows to each other. They have confirmed their promises by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, I proclaim that they are now husband and wife, blessed be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate as God's own. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, and patience. Forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you and crown all these things with love which binds everything together in perfect harmony. God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord graciously with His, fav graciously with his favor look upon you and so fill you with all spiritual benediction and love that you may so live together in this life that in the world to come you may have life everlasting. Amen. Remington, you may now kiss your wife.
And it is with great pleasure that I take this opportunity to introduce for the very first time in human history, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Remington Hines. Please stand. Everybody stand.